Welcome. I'd like to discuss something to help educate you, to give you better understanding about the difference between two main drugs which are over the counter. One is acetaminophen and the other one is ibuprofen. Let's talk about the difference. Acetaminophen primarily found in Tylenol. Ibuprofen primarily found in Advil or Motrin. Those are the largest ones out there. That's what many people rely on. Now, we're not here to say which drugs are better or worse. I just want to give you an awareness and education about the drug so you have a better understanding what it can do and what it can't do. Well, understand, we look at ibuprofen. Ibuprofen generally is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, where Tylenol or acetaminophen is not. So we look at ibuprofen. Ibuprofen generally relieves inflammation. It will take down fever. It will take away pain. On the other spectrum, you look at acetaminophen. Acetaminophen generally takes down fever and takes away pain, but it does not reduce inflammation. So the question here is, when you're dealing with a musculoskeletal problem, a pinched nerve, inflammation, a disc, a bursitis, a tendonitis, anytime you hear the word itis, you know there's inflammation. Right away, it should allow you to think what is better for me? So the other big question is, what are the contraindications? What are the side effects of these two types of medicines? Well, ibuprofen generally is known for gastrointestinal side effects. Generally, when you take the medicine, you always should take it with food. On the other, on the other hand, ibuprofen has a tendency to cause more kidney problems as compared to acetaminophen, which affects more liver problems. So you have to look at your history. Do you already have liver conditions? You need to speak to your, your physician. If you have kidney problems and you want to take ibuprofen for your pain, you need to speak to your physician. So it is very important that you ask questions because these questions can kind of give you a better understanding about your health, about your healing, what you should, what you shouldn't do, and how you can potentially harm yourself. I hope this information was an asset for you that you can put to use. I'm sure that many of us uh, seem to get confused about the difference, but it is something you should know, something you can share with your family, friends, and something that will make hopefully a positive mark in your health in the near future. I ask you to share this video, leave your comments below, subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive more of our self-help natural videos. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.